Hey, Skylar, so this is a crash course on standard 7 RP2B. It's all about determining the constant of proportionality, but then you also need to use that constant of proportionality to solve something else. So normally you find out what it is for one, like finding the unit rate, and then you might need to kind of extend it to maybe like 120. And we can do that pretty quickly by multiplying, but first we need to find the constant of proportionality. So to do that for each of these, we need to do it for a description, table, graph, and equation. So before we talked about how to figure out if they're proportional in the 7RP2A crash course, but now what we need to do is just identify what that constant proportionality is. So for a description, that's all about finding the unit rate. So if you can find the unit rate from a description, that's the constant of proportionality. Constant of proportionality is just another word for unit rate. Or even just what we call K a lot of the time. To do it from a table, that's how we determined if it was proportional in the beginning. So we had X, Y, and then you had all these numbers. Right, and then you would add on your column for K and do Y divided by X. So 2 divided by 1 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So if, as long as you're doing your y divided by your x, that's going to be your k. So we've normally been writing k equals y over x. That's going to be how we find our constant proportionality in a table. For these questions that might be about tables, you might need to find the constant of proportionality, and then they might ask you, OK, if x is 10, what is y? So you'd have to use this constant proportionality. Know that what we can do with it is multiply every x by it. So even this 10, multiply it by it. We got 2 to figure out that this would be 20. So that's going to be kind of how we're going to be using it in tables. So for tables, we know that we can multiply every x by that constant proportionality to get the y. On graphs, it's a little bit different. So on graphs, what you're going to have to do is they give you your lovely graph, right? This is Y, this is X. It starts at the origin and then it's a straight line. What they'll end up doing is you'll have a couple of points that meet on a perfect intersection. So what I mean is it has to be a point like this. It cannot be a point that is hovering above a line like that. That is a big no-go. So you'll have a perfect point somewhere on your graph on the line, and that is going to have a point. Its coordinates are X comma Y. When you find what that point is, that X and that Y value, we can go back to our K formula. You just do the Y divided by the X. So if this point was, let's say, 3 comma 9, we would end up just doing 9 divided by 3. Our constant proportionality is 3. What they might end up doing on a graph is giving you some point here, right? They'll be like, okay, so when X is six, what is the Y? And maybe it doesn't look like a perfect point for you to read it on this graph. So you would need to know to use this constant of proportionality and like how we did on the table, multiply it by that, X, that K value by that X to get that this point would be six comma. 18. For an equation, this is the easiest one to find the constant of proportionality. For proportional equation, we know they look like y equals kx, where k is the constant proportionality. So when we have an equation, that's it. That's our constant proportionality. When you wrote the equation, you had it. They told us in the equation, and usually with an equation, if we're using it, that's going to end up being standard 7 RP2C but they might end up giving you what this X value is, and then you can multiply it by the K to find the Y. And that's it for 7RP2B. If you could do 7RP2A, 2B is pretty similar because usually we needed to check the unit rate on 2A to find the constant proportionality to decide it's proportional. And now we're just kind of finding that constant proportionality and using it in harder problems.